Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. Um, I have a little order of operations example here. We've got a problem with some mixed operations. We've got um, some addition. We have subtraction, multiplication, and division all mixed together um, in this problem. And uh, one to work through this. Um, it's a good test of, of your knowledge uh, of the order of operations. And um, if you'd like to solve this one independently before I go through the solution, uh, now would be a good time to pause the video, uh, and then we'll come back and go through it together. So if you want to pause now and work it out, um, take as long as you want, come back, and we'll work it out together. All right, I'm going to assume that um, if you... If already spent a little bit of time thinking about this problem, so let's go through it. Uh, we've got 17 minus 6 divided by 2. Um, all of that is in parentheses. Then we're adding it to 4 times 3. So what is the answer? All right, well, um, if you're familiar with the order of operations, we know that we need to solve everything that's in between these two parentheses. That has to be done first uh, because anything, and uh, some people might refer to these still as brackets. Uh, typically in North America, these are called parentheses. So you would solve everything in, in here. Uh, and then within the parentheses, um, if you're familiar with order of operations, you know that multiplication and division have uh, priority, they have precedence over addition and subtraction. So um, in this case, inside of the parentheses, we need to do this division before we do any subtraction. So this is where a lot of people get confused. They just automatically think that you solve left to right, but no. Very first thing we do is we divide six divided by two. Uh, so we, we're gonna get three. So in parentheses, you're gonna have 17 minus three. So we're going to continue with the parentheses and solve what's inside. 17 minus 3 is now 14. So we're left with 14 plus 4 times 3. Well, once again, remember, according to order of operations, your multiplication and division have precedence over addition. So we're not going to take 14 plus 4 and then multiply by 3. Uh, we're actually going to do the 4 times 3 first. 4 times 3 is 12. Uh, then we, if we take 14 plus 12, then that equals 26. So the answer to this problem is 26. Uh, now, if that is a little bit confusing to you, I do have a link in the video description um, that goes into a lot more detail about the order of operations. And uh, so if uh, you'd like to, you can click on that link uh, and find out a little bit more. Uh, thanks again. If this video has been helpful, please consider uh, subscribing. If you haven't already, um, please give me a like. Uh, feel free to share this with anybody, and um, we'll see you all in the next one.